Hello, grade eight. Good morning. How are you doing today? Tell me, how are you doing today? Let's do a quick check-in. Let's check in to see how everyone is doing today. How are you doing, Hannah? You are doing well. Okay. Emily, you're doing fantastic. Okay, Steven, I'm doing pretty well. Wow. Okay. Londi, you don't look okay. How are you doing? You're doing so-so. Okay. That's fantastic. It's good to know how you are doing so that you can be able to regulate your emotions. And yeah, before we start with our today's lesson, who wants to tell me or who wants to remind us what we were doing yesterday? What was our topic yesterday? Anyone? Raise your hand. If you remember, put up your hand. All right. Elements of art. Good job. Elements of art. Wow. Let's all clap hands for Aura. Aura for breaking that ice. Uh, you deserve a star. So I am giving you a star, Tim C. Let's see who's leading today. Who's on the leads? Tim D with three stars. Okay. Let's see how everyone is going to do remember to up your game for your team uh so far team d is leading and team b and team e are on the list okay all right thank you so much aura yes yesterday we did elements of art now who wants to, who still remembers the elements of art? I think we had about five. What are the elements of art? Anyone? Okay. Yes, good. Number one is line. Good job, Paul. Number two. Lisa. Okay, form. Well done. Number three, uh, texture. Texture. You guys are so brilliant. Number four, we have triangle, square, shapes. <laughs> yes, shape as an element of art. Okay, let's come to number five. The last one. The last one. What is this element of art? This one? Color. Okay. Okay. We have color as an element of art. And today we are focusing on element of art which is color. Color is our main focus today. Okay? Uh, before we talk about color as an element of art, anyone, three people, tell me what's your favorite color? Pink, white, black. Are you not gonna ask me my favorite color? <laughs> okay thank you for the question my favorite colors are seasonal are seasonal seasonal so what do i mean about that i mean that uh it depends on the times the moods and how i'm feeling that day so that is why i say my favorite colors are 
seasonal okay standard is black and white those are my favorite colors every day but depending on the mood whether i feel creative whether i feel happy whether i feel down or sad then it will keep on changing sometimes i feel like pink i just want to be simple free accessible and all that and when i want to feel classy elegancy and elite i would go for black for the outfits and also my house decor so yeah my favorite colors are seasonal it depends on the time the mood and the settings okay now uh so now we have this uh this is widely used in the space of art we call this a color wheel what is a color wheel a color wheel is a groupings of colors groupings of colors we have two types of colors we have primary colors and we have secondary colors now what are the primary colors the primary colors are red yellow and blue and then the secondary colors are green orange purple and you can mix and match the colors to produce a color you want for an example here we have a uh, We have yellow and red mixed together and it produces orange. So if you take a yellow paint and a, and a red paint, you mix them together, they will produce a, an orange color. But let's not focus on this for today. I will explain this further during our afternoon session. So during the afternoon remind me to explain about this further but now what is the purpose of color in 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 in, uh, in art why do we use colors in art what do you think is the purpose of color in art anyone who wants to try okay now I have this what colors are this all these colors what colors are these these are rainbow colors rainbow colors I start I like to start listing them from here blue green yellow orange red and indigo violet all right now when do you normally see a rainbow when do you normally see a rainbow when we, it, it was raining and now the weather is starting to clear out right you then see a rainbow and how do you feel when you see a rainbow anyone tell me how do you feel when you see a rainbow I personally feel happy because i know in my mind that now the rain is about to end and i'll be able to go out and visit my relatives and my friends what about you same okay so colors are able to evoke emotions all right colors can be able to evoke emotions now i want you to note this Let's say you can write this under vocabulary. So I said seasonal, it's timely. To uh, vibrant. 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 We have some big words there. Who knows the meaning of the word vibrant? Okay, 
don't worry because i can see you all look lost don't worry the word vibrant it means bright coming to life exciting uh joyful joy jolly it means something that gives good energy good attitude it is vibrant that thing is vibrant you see this poster here it is colorful it is vibrant it is full of life so that's the purpose of color in uh in art and another purpose of color so number one color gives life color gives gives life to things object paintings anything artistic if you play with your colors very well you blend the one that are bright and the one that are dim you blend you blend them very well uh it can give something like a life okay so here's another vocab sorry blend so we said seasonally it's timely vibrant it's lively uh and blend mix together mix well or mix together that is the meaning of blend mix together if you mix them very well together they will give you a vibrant a lively picture a picture full of energy if it's a painting okay now let me show you uh different artworks and i want you to associate them with emotions tell me how you feel how they make you feel these different artworks okay and then we will discuss them further okay now before we move on to our next activity i want so let me give you a scenario you are a child it is january 2024 you are a child at your grandmother's place and you see tada what are these red envelopes you see red envelopes what's your immediate emotion how are you going to feel you are going to feel happy why because this is associated with money and money makes us to feel good to be happy so you see the color red on an envelope it is associated with uh happiness and then now in your groups i am going to give you uh white sheets so these are five white sheets team a b c d e you take one white sheet and then i want you to create something artistic it can be a drawing it can be a painting and i have props here you can cut the papers i have color uh, pens as well and i've got like an art book that you can use as your inspiration you can take this to get your colors that you can use as an inspiration so you take these things as a group i want you to create an artwork that has got colors so let's give emotions to the group okay now for your next activity i want you as groups you are going to create an artwork for me it can be a drawing it can be a painting 
or it can be something that you created by cutting and pasting different things to uh, create form lines but I want you to uh, use color as well to express emotions 